kids, it's Pastor Craig here, and I'm glad you're here for the fourth day of Vacation Bible School. And I'm out here at a friend's farm, and you can't see it all, uh, but you can see all those little houses out there. He's got more chickens than a man knows what to do with. And I came out here because he's kind of like an expert at chickens, and he's going to show you a little trick. And when you see this little trick, you're going to be absolutely amazed. But I want to tell you what that trick means to me and why it's important and how it kind of illustrates something very, very important in our lives about truth. Now, did you ever think in your wildest dreams you would learn something about truth from a chicken? Well, let's find out, okay? All right, so this is my friend Eddie. I want you to see what he's doing. He's going to take that, that chicken's neck and tuck it underneath its wing. And do you see that, kids? Now that rooster's not dead, but that rooster has got his, his head tucked underneath his wing, and he's just as good as dead, it seems. But Mr. Eddie, show him how that chicken's still alive. See there? Isn't that cool? Can you do it one more time, Mr. Eddie? Wow. Thank you again, Mr. Eddie. Hey kids, wasn't that amazing? How did he do that? You know, I like to say that when Mr. Edward or Mr. Eddie tucked that chicken's head up underneath its wing, he lied to it. He told him it was nighttime. It was Betty by time, time to go to sleep. No need to move around, no, no need to be alert, you're safe. But was that true? No, it wasn't. If Mr. Eddie and I hadn't been there and we had left that rooster there, you know what? A fox could have come up, a buzzard could have come, or a hawk could have come down and grabbed that rooster. It was a very dangerous place to be. It wasn't until we shook his tail or Mr. Eddie shook his tail that that chicken popped his head out and he could see the truth and then he was free to make the right decisions to take cover and to, and to protect himself. You know, it's the same way in our lives. When someone tells us a lie and we believe it, it's like we got our head tucked up underneath our wing and we didn't know what the real situation was. We didn't understand what the dangers were and how best to do the things that we needed to do. Or on the other hand, what about when we tell other people lies. Well, if they believe those lies, it's like we've tucked their head up underneath their wing and they could be in a dangerous position and not even know it, you know? And listen, that's dangerous even when we're just talking about everyday things. But what about the importance of knowing God's truth about who we are and what we need? to understand that we're sinners and that we need Jesus to save us so that we can go to heaven, so that we can be forgiven, so that we can have a home one day with him forever and ever and ever. Do you realize that the devil wants you to think that you're good enough all on your own? That's a lie. It's like he's tucked our head up underneath our wings and we've just become happy and complacent thinking everything's okay. But that's not true. You see, if we take the time to look at God's word, it's like Jesus cuts the light on for us. Jesus said in, in John chapter eight, he said, if you abide in my word, then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Think about that. The truth will set you free. It's kind of like God shakes our little tail and our head pops out from underneath our wings and we can see things for what they really are. And the reality is, none of us is perfect. We're all sinners. But God sent His Son, Jesus, to pay for all those sins. He took our punishment for us when He died on the cross. And when He rose from the dead, the payment was paid. And when we accept Him and believe in Him, we're set free from our sins. And we begin to know the truth, and that truth sets us free. So as we think about truth, I want you to remember that chicken and how easy it was to tuck that chicken's head up underneath his, his wing 
and to deceive him, to trap him, to lie to him. So be careful and make sure that you tell other people the truth so that you don't put them in dangerous positions. Make sure you do your very best to know the truth yourself so that you don't get deceived. And about those very, very important things, I want you to do everything that you can to listen to God's Word, read God's Word, go to church, go to Sunday school, talk to your parents, know what Christ said, believe those truths. It's like He's cutting the lights on all around so that you'll be in a safe position as possible. Because when you know the truth in Christ, that truth will set you free. I'm so glad that you've been here at Vacation Bible School, even when it's been online. I'm so glad that we've had the opportunity to talk about all these things that we've talked about. And I hope that together, you and your family are growing closer and closer together as you examine God's Word and how we're to work together as a family. And one very, very important part of all that is that our families, just like our lives, need to be founded on the truth. And that truth comes from Jesus. Home improvement on a firm foundation. Home improvement when we're on staycation. Bible school.